we're going to look at three essential skills when skiing steeper slopes. Edge control, foot rotation and separating the lower and upper body. These skills are as important on the piste as they are off and it's really going to help you control your speed as the gradients increase. The first thing we're going to look at is edge control. These days with modern skis, everybody's a little bit too obsessed by how much edge they can get on the ski. And a good skier can edge the ski a lot, but they've also got the ability and skill to flatten and feel when the skis are flat. And that's what we're going to start to try here. Now, all I'm going to do is flatten the skis and slide, then gently edge. Flatten the skis, gently edge. Flatten and edge. You may have been surprised that it's actually harder to flatten the skis than it is to edge the skis. Keep practicing and try it from both directions. Edge, flatten. Let's try a few the other way. Flatten, edge, flatten, edge. Now that you're feeling comfortable with flattening the skis, we're going to look at the relationship between flattening and rotating because they go hand in hand. If I put a lot of edge onto the ski and try and turn my foot, it's going to be virtually impossible to actually make that foot rotate. Whereas if the ski's flat on the snow, it's a much easier movement. So it's a real skill to feel that I can flatten the skis and rotate at the same time. Release the edges, rotate the feet. Now you've got those two movements working together, the flattening of the skis, rotating the feet, it's time to look at the last piece of the puzzle, and that's separating the body. What we're looking for is the ability to keep the chest facing down the hill and turning the feet below. There's a good exercise to help that. I'm going to hold the poles about halfway down, face them down the hill and hold them upright. Now what you can do is imagine that there's a kind of a letter box in between those poles that I'm going to look down and keep my hands and chest facing down the hill all the way down. Let's give it a whirl. Poles are in front, I'm looking down, I'm keeping my body facing down the hill. A lot of control through the turn, skidding, controlling my speed. So we can get the poles back in our hands. Now once we've got that, let's have a quick chat about the pole plant. There isn't one set position where a pole should go in, but on a steep slope, put it more down the slope, here rather than around by the front of your skis. That's going to encourage that good body position. Remember the upper body separation and it's also going to do something very important on a steeper slope drive and pull you towards that next turn. I really want to let my body go confidently towards that next turn. Now, if you think of it like this, this is my skis, this is me. If I'm going to point my skis downhill, they're going to come to this angle. Now, if I go with that next turn, there's a very good chance as I'm coming into the beginning of that turn, I'm standing over my feet and I'm balanced. If I don't drive confidently towards that next turn, my skis are going to point downhill, I'm going to stay where I am, and there's a good chance I'm going to be in the back seat, a lot of pressure on the tails of the skis, and there's no way I'm going to be able to rotate and turn my feet and get the brakes back on. So watch down here, my pole's going to be down the slope, and I'm really going to drive my body down towards that next turn with confidence. Release the edges, plant the pole, rotate the feet. Make sure all these movements are linked together. Keep the upper body facing down the hill. A good rhythmical pole plant will bring it all together. Combine all these elements, keep practicing, and you'll find yourself skiing steeper slopes with a new confidence.